Hi, it's Janos Rio Verdodio, and I'd like to chime in on some comments on my last uh, video on my concert hall observations part one. Serious face there. <laughs> so anyway, if you scroll down here, and uh, this is the thread. I, I pinned it to to the chat. It was uh, started by Hallo Ola and uh, and Gabor uh, and started uh, uh, picking up the slack there and answering him and they have a really really nice thread going on about the nature of uh, recorded music uh, versus live music and uh, what uh, high end can do for you and uh, what can you hear in the recording and hello ola uh, he he commented that uh, he used to be into high-end audio but after decades of working as a piano teacher also singing and drumming he lost interest and the best you can do you can achieve is hearing everything that was done in the process of making the recording like how far the microphones were from the instruments what part of the instruments these microphones were pointing at what editing choices the sound engineer made, what sort of EQ effects were added. And the more you hear, the more you realize there's no objective reality in audio, only personal preferences, decisions. So basically, uh, his experience is that the more higher end you get in audio, the more you got to hear what was done to that music, how, how the editing was done, what are the imperfections was what are the things and and uh, and when you uh, are working with with live music uh, like especially with piano which is a really really sensitive instrument and hard to uh, reproduce such a, and singing as well and he also mentioned drumming these three things which are like super duper hard to reproduce properly and 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 then you just realize that it's uh, it's all problems with the piano getting the tonality right and and the the instant attack of each 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 key each hammer hitting the strings singing they always need to put extra compression on it to to fit it in the dynamic range drumming also have to compress it to to fit it somehow with the rest of the instrument so you're going to hear just uh, just a nasty amount of uh, processing going on and and all sorts of uh, choices done that you don't hear with the, with the lower resolving power system but as you go higher and higher all of these will be there and uh, i think my take on this is that i i feel the same and 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 mainstream high end is really really focusing on on a, overemphasizing these these tiny details of letting you hear the, the minutest things and and it's i think that that as as your system gets better and better by my definition you will hear all of these it will allow you to hear all of those decisions but i think the the true problem the true issue we have with high-end audio is that uh, the more, uh, I would say, more resolving a system gets, the more it slams into your face, these decisions. And, and it doesn't let you focus on the music, it just pushes your face, like, like okay, like it, it, it's kind of like being at the concert and someone farts, and it, it kind of like slams your face into the fart, you, you smell that. And you can't focus on the music anymore because that, that, that gas becomes your reality. And that's the problem with high-end audio, I think. And uh, that's not the only way uh, sound reproduction and audio system can be done. It can be have that at a super high resolving power without that uh, propensity to focus your attention exclusively on those glitches, on those errors, those mistakes. And so, for example, when I listen to, to my system, I can he hear every tiny, minute little thing done to the music, but it's kind of like 
it, it, it's presented in a way that it's not slammed in my face. It's like I don't even think about that. I, I think about the music. It, it just, if, if it like uh, increases my power like uh, uh, 10 times to hear all of those minute details or decisions done by the audio engineer, but it improves my power to focus on the music a thousand times. So I'm not missing out anything and, and all those uh, engineering decisions are not railroading me. It's kind of like they, they are showing, being shown there as kind of like, like a gentle touch of a painter being there to see that, okay, there is the, the hand mark, the signature of those who created that music. And, uh, and, and it's there as part of the organic process to bring that recording, to bring that performance to you. And, uh, and it's, it, my system does this thing to such an extreme degree that even if there are like really bad things done, it, it's still enjoyable, except a few things. Like for example, when they mess up phase issues, when they, when they really go to town to add like really crazy effects to the sound, that, 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 that's just something when, when they, I would say like uh, do audio sins to the recording. <laughs> And uh, that's something that really disrupts the flow of the music. And it's not just something like a, like a more subtle or more minor thing, uh, but, but something that, that's, that, that's really... Mm, that's, that's really alien to how music sounds real life then the music will become alien. For example, if you think about Björk's more modern albums, there's such processing done to it and, and such effects that it's unlistenable on any system, basically. And, and, uh, and even my system, it says like, no, <laughs> you can't forget about that. But uh, if you have something that was done with the urge to create uh, music, music, not some processed uh, weird stuff, then, uh, then yes, it will allow you to hear everything, the minutest things that were done to, to the music, to the recording, but they won't be in the forefront. The, the music will play the important bit. And, and this is really what, why I created this channel, to share how I found this type of uh, playback. And, and all my experiences that I'm sharing to you is to bring you towards this uh, approach to audio, how you can create a system for yourself that lets you focus on the music and not on the gimmicks. So, thank you, hello, hola, and thank you, Gabor, Gabor Ozorai, for uh, commenting these wonderful comments uh, on, on the latest video. And uh, please like, subscribe, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>